George, another step in the right direction. What's your assessment? Yeah, I think, you know, Gaffer said after the game, it was, you know, there's been times this season where, you know, first 20 minutes we've, we've sort of blown teams away and I think today was a bit different. Um, it was a different challenge. We sort of had to find our way into the game a little bit more and, and I think it was credit to the lads that when we did that, we, um, we showed our quality. We're looking again at a set piece, another yeah. thing that can, that can break the deadlock, talk us through it. Yeah, definitely, you know, that's... It's a big part of the game these days and we do a lot of work on it. We know we, we, we know our routines, we set things up and, and when you've got delivery like Leaf, who's, who's putting it on a sixpence and, and you sort of know the areas you need to hit, it it makes it a lot easier. So especially in games like today, to get that first goal through a set piece, I think it's uh, it's big to take to, through to the rest of the season. How did you kind of feel after maybe the first half an hour or so? A little bit of a cagey one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was and we knew it was going to be. You know, they're fighting for the playoffs and stuff like that. They, they, they need the result as much as we do. And, and so we sort of knew coming into the game, it, it it had the potential to be that kind of that kind of game, and, and and that's how it turned out. But I think for us to go there and you know go to that extra level and you know keep plugging away, doing what we're doing, and, and sort of show our call it in the end. Um, I think as long as we keep doing the right things, that'll that'll always happen. And what was the mood at half time like? I mean, Chap is scoring yeah. uh, just before the break. There's no one else you want the ball dropped on his left foot. There is there? No, of course. That's that's. A, Chappers finish if ever I've seen it. You know, we see it every day in training, see it on match days so many times this season. And I think the timings of the goals were, were, were really good. You know, mm. going into half time 2 0 up, if, if you sort of going in 0 0, 1 0, it can be a little bit different. And and so to get that second goal was, you know, we came in at half time knowing that, you know, the job wasn't done. Um, we've got a good platform in the game at that point. And it was about, you know, I think in, in, in recent weeks, we would not been as quick out, you know, out the block second half we would like to be in. So, that was the message really, just you know, keep it going and, and first five, ten minutes of the second half really go and assert, assert our authority on the game again and, and sort of take it to another level. Four and four for you now, of course you'd be delighted with that. What's clicking at the moment? Yeah, it just, you know, these things happen as a striker, you go on runs where you don't score and then you go on runs where you do score and, and, and I'm making the most of the run where I do score at the minute and, you know, delighted to, to have got the fourth, you know, four and four for me. That's, it's, 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 it's proud, I'm proud, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I can be helping the team by scoring my goals and, um, and that's why I'm here, so uh, long may it continue. I mean, there's, you'll probably play it down, but there's been some real quality to yeah. your goals as well. And do you feel like with this team, the next chance is never too far away? Definitely. I think that was a big message from the gaffer, you know, when I first signed and, you know, the goals weren't quite going in how, how, how I would have hoped. And it was always a case of keep doing the right things, keep getting in the right areas. And, you know, with the chances this team creates, at some point I'm going to start getting on the end of them. And, you know, I think that's that's paid dividends, you know, in training every, every day, just doing the right things. and. And, you know, it does take time to sometimes form relationships with players and, and you know, to get that understanding between each other. But I think now, now everything's sort of starting to click in and, and we're all reaping the rewards of it. Physically, feeling good for Monday? Feel good, ready to go. You know, it's at this point of the season, you, you just keep, you know, recovery is massive and you just keep going out there and giving everything you've got. And, and, and with the quality we've got in the squad, we know there's, there's lads on the bench who, who can tap in at any moment and, and go and carry on the work, you know, we've been doing, whether it's, whether it's me starting, whether it's Freddie starting with, yeah. you know, all the front four, everyone in the in the squad really. It's it's we've got a nice balance of, you know, the ones who are out there starting, uh, you know, obviously starting the game and got to do as much as they can. But there comes a point where you know you give everything you've got, whether it be for 60, 70, 80 minutes, and mm. you know you've got that quality on the bench that's going to come on and, and and really take over from there. So for us, it's it's about just going out there every game and and you know giving everything we've got and uh, hopefully that'll put us in a good position.